What is up YouTube? This is Owen Dahl here and uh, in my last video I actually showed you guys a couple of uh, Haneyama puzzles that I had recently bought and uh, I've been playing with the uh, the cast spiral quite a lot. It is of those two puzzles my favorite and uh, I actually figured out a pretty foolproof solution to it and after I figured this out I decided to watch some other YouTube videos and I don't know I just, <laughs> I just kind of think these uh, other YouTube videos are a little bit weirdly technical and, uh, you know, they just kind of go a little bit off the wall in terms of how they explain how this puzzle works. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys my solution that I figured out. It's actually really simple. In fact, I almost want to call this puzzle like a puzzle that can solve itself. Like, seriously, it, it will not let you mess up if you do this way. So you'll see, you'll see what I mean. So anyway, yeah, if you don't want to, obviously, if you don't want to have this puzzle spoiled for you, then don't watch the video. But... Um, pretty much, I'm assuming you've already got your puzzle taken apart and mixed up, but I'll go ahead and just demonstrate how to take it apart real quick. I know a lot of people have, you know, touched on this, but basically what you want to do is you want to take, get, make it into this spiral form, as you can see. <clears throat> and then, go ahead and, uh, take the, uh, you want to make sure the Hanayama piece, the one with the labeling on it, is on the top of the spiral. You want to take it and the piece below it, you know, bring it down and twist it off. Separate those, separate these, and uh, I'll go ahead and give these a good mix, just to, uh, just to make sure it's extra challenging. It's funny, a lot of a lot of videos you watch on YouTube are like, make sure you don't mix the pieces. So, it's fine if you mix up the pieces. And obviously, you know, I'm making this video a lot, mostly for the people that just want to have their little fidget toy back, because I'm. it's really, really fun to play with when it's put together. So, anyway, here are all the pieces. And uh, to put it back together, what you want to do is look for the Hanayama piece, which that's not it. Uh, I'm sorry about my f my phone not focusing. Uh, that's not it. <clears throat> this is an iPhone 5C, so I have to manually focus it. That's not it. <laughs> there it is. All right, so you want to hold it this way. Now, you want to hold it to where the notch kind of the slit is on the left and this uh, little stud part is on the right <clears throat> and the Hanayama logo is facing you. Now, take any piece, take this one, and slide it through the notch. All right. Now, in this case, this is actually the wrong piece. The piece we're looking for is actually going to slide, this, this top edge is going to slide just past the seam on the Hanayama piece, okay? In this case, it falls a little bit short, so we're gonna go ahead and take that one down. <clears throat> Let's try this one. All right, that one actually goes a little too far. You can see the two corners touch, so that's not it. This one. All right, this is actually the piece. You can see that this edge went just past the seam, and I just wanna go ahead and show you that this piece will actually falls short completely. It won't even go on all the way. So, slide this piece on. All right, now keep these together. And here we got three pieces. The cool thing about this puzzle is that two of these pieces are going to not work. It's gonna be completely obvious that they're not the right piece, and one piece is gonna go on and it's obvious it's the right piece. Let me show you what I mean. Take this piece, slide it up. See how it doesn't even go on all the way? It's not the piece. Take this piece, slide it up. See how that one actually goes on and starts to starts to form the spiral? This is the right piece. Let me just go ahead and demonstrate this other piece for you, though. See how it doesn't slide on all the way? So, yes, this piece is the one and only piece that will go on and make the spiral formation. So that's a correct piece. All right, keep these together. <clears throat> Two pieces. One of these pieces will work. One of these pieces won't. Let's try this one. You see that piece actually makes the spiral formation. Uh, just to go ahead and demonstrate <clears throat> this piece, which is actually the wrong piece, falls and makes it flush. Do you see how it <clears throat> lands right there? It's actually really satisfying, but that's not the right piece. <laughs> it's this piece. So slide this one on. And uh, now you want to go ahead and take the Hanayama piece and the piece below it. You want to take them off, okay? And you want to go ahead and take the uh, this piece, uh, the, the final piece, and you want to slide it onto this right here. Now, if you happen to mess up and you decide to slide it onto onto the uh, onto this, if you try to put it on the wrong side, it actually will stop short. So, again, very clearly obvious that's not where it goes. It goes here. Okay? 
So now you've got these three pieces assembled. You've got the uh, Hanayama and its piece assembled. Just go ahead and take them, put them together and twist them back on and you're done. <clears throat> Just like that. Seriously guys, it could not be any easier. So yeah, um, no need to worry about any of the technical jargon. That is pretty much how this works. I'll go ahead and do a, uh, like, I guess a, a speed solve, if you will. So just so, you know, I'll kind of walk you all through when I'm doing this. So I'll take that off. That off. Uh, kind of walk you through when I'm doing it. Oh no, I lost it. <clears throat> all right. So, here we go. Look for the Hanayama piece. Nope. Uh, yep, this is it. Take a piece, slide it on here. Wrong, goes too far. Dang it, <laughs> they're kind of slippery. All right, this one, nope, doesn't go far enough. You saw where it fell short of the seam. I'll show you that again. See, this edge doesn't quite make it past the seam, so that's the wrong piece. All right, so this one, slide it on. That's the right piece because you see how it goes just past, all right? Now, actually, a little trick for you, the one that falls just a little bit short is actually the piece that goes here. So I can go ahead and take this piece and know that it's the piece that goes here. See that? Little trick for you. You'll figure these things out as you keep playing with it. Take this piece, slide it on. Oh, it's too, it's flush. So that's actually the incorrect piece. Um, let's take this piece. Oh, there we go. That works. Go ahead and take these two off. Slide this piece here. And bam. We're done. And yes, it is fully functional. The same action you had when it was brand new. So there you guys go. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you obviously, if you're struggling, just keep watching the video. Let me know if there's anything that maybe I could have explained better. Um, yeah, and make sure you help each other out. You know, if, if someone's struggling, you know, go in the comments and see if someone's struggling, see if you can help them figure out what's wrong. So. Hopefully this is a more user-friendly solution for you guys. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, again, I will be making some more regular videos very soon. Just a matter of when I can get my new phone. <laughs> Trying to decide if I want to get it at the end of the month or if I want to wait till Black Friday. So we'll see. But um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and adios.